Uh, Jeff says, how much SEO do you do for GMB sites? Also, how much can you throw at a GMB site without incurring the wrath of G? Okay. Um, as far as SEO, I just put well-optimized content on it. Guys, the, the beautiful thing about a GMB website is you don't, you don't, you cannot um, modify SEO elements of the page. Like you don't put in header tags and you don't, uh, you know, you, 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 you just literally paste content in, you can bold stuff and you can create links from within the content, but you can't, you can't add header tags. You can't, you know, it, there's nothing that you can modify on the elements of the page. It's just text only, right? That's all you can do. And so all you need to do is have a well-written piece of content for the GMB website. And that's it. That's as far as you can go for on page other than photos, which are incredibly important. And GMB posts, which act as inner pages if you have a GMB website. If you're just doing GMB posts and not and you don't have a GMB website, then you don't they don't act as inner pages, they're just posts. But if you have a GMB website, then they they'll start as posts and then they'll they will turn into an inner page of the website as well. So you can silo those. I can't get into how, but we will talk about that a little bit on Monday for the local lease pro method. And our auto poster, uh, the GMB auto poster um, that we have will also automate a siloing post, which is really, really cool. Okay. So you can do that. But as far as the off page stuff, I don't know, because I haven't done any massive uh, spamming to the GMB websites yet, because as I just was talking about in the previous question, the only exterior link building I have done thus far has been from uh, press releases and drive stacks. I have not even thrown any spam campaign, like spam link campaigns we have a Dedia, right? We have a link building manager who's fabulous. He's amazing at what he does. And I haven't even started testing, sending link campaigns to a GMB asset yet. M maybe Marco has, but all I've done is drive stacks and um, press releases. And I'm just now starting to play with syndication networks and uh, syndicating GMB posts because our, our auto poster creates an RSS feed from GMB posts. So I'm starting to test with that a little bit too. And I have also... I said this with RYS stacks, but I've also tested just link building with Google sites using a, a software from Peter Drew. But um, I haven't done enough testing there to determine whether it's um, that's something that I want to add into my standard operating procedure or not. But yeah, I mean, again, I, since it's a Google property, Marco can probably comment on this a little bit more, but um, I, I haven't tested the limit on that. But since it's a Google property, it will likely withstand anything you throw at it. What do you say, Marco? I say that I haven't needed to do anything except what's in the training so far. And, uh, you know, it, it's so simple because you just go, you get an asset, you optimize it the way that it's taught, you throw it up, it ranks, or it doesn't rank. And if it doesn't rank, you can still, uh, the activity will create calls. The, the way that it's set up will create calls. It'll create activity. And that activity Google starts feeding on it because it starts seeing it and activity, right? Is is one of the major factors right now. I, I, I said it, I keep saying it, art, activity, relevance, trust, and authority. Those are the things that will trump anything. I don't care what it is. I don't care what, what negative aspects there are. If you have activity, relevance, trust, and authority set up in whatever it is that you're doing, it's going to trump everything and Google is going to reward you over and over and over again. 